It's about to go down in hashtag, I'm just saying. This is a pop-up edition. Hold on, let me get a little light. All right. So, welcome to another episode of hashtag, I'm just saying, pop-up edition. I'm yours truly, Mimi Michelle. We're about to get, get involved. I want you to ask questions. I want you to leave your comments because I am about to spill all the tea and sip the wine. Now, today's cocktail for conversation is something called porch swing. I don't know if it's backwards, but you already know what it is. It's porch swing. It's 110 calories a glass. It's five glasses in the bottle. I guess I didn't drink two and a half, or two and a half is in the glass. And it is a premium sweet wine, pink lemonade flavored. It's refreshing lemon taste with a hint, a hint of sweet picture perfect wine uh, that's stupid who wrote this some hood person a hint of sweetness just say that all right you see y'all y'all see i have this filter on i'm honest and true i have the filter on that's why my hair is a different color but i have this filter on because my nail person which is my sister is out of town working and i ain't got that many I just don't. I don't have that many lashes. And I keep, she said, quit touching them, girl. I said, I still got a row. She said, oh, baby, you don't have a row of nothing. But anywho, let's get this story popping. So we're going to talk about Diddy today. We're going to talk about Sterling K. Brown and Jennifer Lopez today. We're going to talk about my boy Martin Lawrence today. But before we get into all that, I need y'all to go to BT+. Plus. I know I'm usually doing my Tubi review because I'm watching this movie on Tubi. It's called, uh, uh sh I'll, I'll let y'all know. I'll put it in. I'll figure it out. Uh, uh, Lust something. Well, I, I couldn't finish watching it because it was so predictable, but I'm going to finish watching it before I review it because it might give me a little twist at the end. But y'all got to watch Miss Pat's season four. Not maybe a little loud, but... Miss Pat is pretty darn good. And season four, they doing they good acting. They doing they good acting in season four. I binge watch season four from episode one to I think like episode 10. It was amazing. So you get a little time, BT Plus, Miss Pat. If you've never watched the, the series, if you've never watched the sitcom, start at season one. But season four, baby, they doing they good acting. Now, before we get into my, my good talk, we're going to go, it's a flashback. Something that's been trending on the tick of the talk. And I've been a hairstylist for a real long time, right? <laughs> and it's a lot of styles that are coming back that I was hoping would never. And that French roll is one of them. The French roll has made a comeback. And if they put a little twist on it, because I remember when the asymmetrical came back, I was for it. When the mushroom came back, I was for it. When the mohawk came back, which is still here, I was for it. But that French roll, I, do y'all know what we went through to do them French rolls? First, especially for the people who didn't have a lot of hair, we had to put them tracks on there, then tease the middle and stuff it with old hair, either some synthetic hair or some old weave. And then sometimes we were rolling and mold it over and do all them designs, the intricate designs. Then we had to skate, skate, skate that thing up with some hairspray. And my hairspray of choice, if it wasn't... Um, Paul Mitchell Freeze and Shine, it was Fantasia Liquid Mousse because that thing had to be a brick. I can remember when we used to have the stacks and the freeze curls and the finger waves. And so we used to take the finger waves and I got a picture of it somewhere. I'm going to try to find it. But it was like finger waved up with the French roll right here. And then oh, just way too much. It was the most. I don't want that to come back. And something that I said I would never do when I graduated from college college. Metology school was do a jerry curl. But they got this thing out and it smells like death called the Gina curl. Because people want to be natural, but they don't want, like, okay, my hair is natural. Do you know how much 
natural hair care product I have to put in my hair. That's why I'd rather crochet it because I don't want to wet my hair every day. Well, evidently, this Gina curl costs a thousand bucks. I might get into it. No, no, I might get into it. But I didn't think the curl would come back. Like acid wash jeans. I don't want that to come back. Anyway, oh, remember this? Okay, I'm digressing, but remember in the 80s when the shoulder pads was out? Oh, me and my cousin, Kim, we would take them shoulder pads and you could buy shoulder pads that Velcroed into your <laughs> that Velcroed into your clothes. And if you want to look slimmer, because it made you, and I was slim back then. I was thick slim, but it made like a little triangle. So you didn't just put one pair of shoulder pads in. Sometimes you had two, three shoulder pads on each side. I'm so glad that's gone. Please don't come back, but I think it's coming back too. But anyway, let's get right to it. So we're going to talk about Martin first. So there's been a lot going on about Martin looking weird, looking strange. He's a clone. He's, uh, is he drunk? Um, is he on something? Preferably, not preferably, my opinion, and this is just me. First of all, Martin, I love you. So if you get a hold of my podcast, I love you. I don't think he's on anything. And if he's if he is, that's his whole business. Um, I think he might be ill or might have been ill, like maybe had a stroke or something. I haven't heard that, so I'm not putting no rumors out there. I just don't think he's on anything. I've been around addicts my whole life. I don't think he's on anything. I think that maybe he was sick. Maybe something happened. You know, he could have gotten COVID. Anything that changed his molecular structure to m make him slur and walk a little slower. So my prayer is going out for you, Martin, because I don't think you deserve all that backlash that you're getting. Hold on. My voice still crackly. Let me drink a little bit. Now, Sterling K. Brown is my nickel. Okay, so I was trying to stay out of this thing with him and J-Lo. Because I was like, are people seeing something that's not there? But today I saw when he was on the red carpet, they have a movie coming out. I don't know what the name of the movie is. I'll find it and I'll post it in the thing. But he must really be agitated with her. Like, she must have been like a super diva on set. She must have just been a lot to deal with. Maybe she wanted all white m and I don't know in her trailer, but he, every time she says something, he has like a persnickety remark. He is very petty pendergrass. I am loving him. We are best friends now. Tell your wife I said we are friends. So today, they was doing an interview and he start answering in Spanish. Him and the other man start answering in Spanish. And you could see Jennifer was a little uncomfortable because evidently her Spanish ain't that Spanishy. You know? Paolo, tú no hablas español también. I yo he speaks better Spanish than I do. <laughs> That's it. Oh, my God. I'm always being shamed for my oh, Spanish no, all the so time. Good. They make me I've, so panicked to talk I've, in Spanish. I've reached the end of my runway. Esa película hace un buen trabajo en como, how would you say depict, like to... Mostrar? Mostrar? To show? Sterling. Straight, yes. Uh, para mostrar uh, lo bueno y lo malo de AI. Y yo creo que es una película muy ah, divertido sí. y um, con mucho acción, pero con mucho corazón también, mucho humor. Mucho corazón. Y mucho humor. Sí. Sí. Yeah. Sí. Sterling, I, I, we're, we're doing this in Spanish the next time. You know, I just know cuss words, but she was like, oh, they make me look bad. I, um, I, 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 how do you say? And he was like, I said, Ooh. what did you do to him, Jennifer? I don't know what you did to him, but whatever you did, you need to apologize. And Sterling, I absolutely love your petty bone. Keep shining, bruh. Keep shining. Now let's get into Diddy, your boy Diddy Bob. Sean P. Diddy Combs, 
love. I don't want to call him love because what he been doing ain't lovable. But man, allegedly, and I'm saying alleged because this ain't, this may not be true, but allegedly he's married his last child's mother. So he won't have to, so she can't go to trial against him. Uh, I don't want to lie. What, how did I hear it? She helped him tap Kim Porter's phone. And she knows a lot of what's going on because she's a tech. But, um, she, so he married her. Now, I don't know how true that is. You know, once stuff start getting wild, people start making stuff up. Because I do know that the feds have a, a, a lot on him. And Rolling Stone just did an interview about it that they have been working on for six months. They have interviewed over 50 people. And they tried to get 300 people. The gavel is coming down on Sean Combs. And I feel sorry for his kids. But what you did, you have to remember, Doc, you got daughters. You have daughters and it always comes back. That's the best way I can put it. What you put into the universe always comes back. I need to cut these little strings right here. Babe, I'll do that tomorrow though. Um, people think they get away with murder and they really don't. Just takes a little time. Hurt people hurt people. Arrogant people, they live on this certain molecular status. And they never think it'll happen to them. They think they're going to float on cloud nine forever. And that just is not the case. And when, I'm not going to say if, when this goes to trial, it's going to be the trial of the century. This is going to be the indictment of the century. And if he does not go to trial or, or anything, he will never have any business deals. His 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 bank is gonna be dried up. He can't make money. Everybody's dropped him. Nobody wants to deal with him. This is about to be really bad. It's about to be really bad. So I said I wasn't gonna say nothing about uh Sean Combs, but this is to be reported. This is to be talked about. So y'all get involved and ask questions and, and tell me what you think. Um, tell me how you feel. I really want to do, I, you know what? I'm going to have a panel. Um, get a couple of my peeps on and have a panel. And we're going to sit out and talk about these topics. It's just when you don't jump on it right away, you know, then on to the next. But I got a group of friends that I'm sure we can entertain. Because everybody got something to say. So, I don't talk about kids. Because kids are beautiful. There's people. Um, but, I think Northwest was set up for failure. Um, I believe that it was not what you do is who you know. Just take a look at this. Now, most people was probably expecting this. No one said do this. No one said be there. No one said stop that. No one said see here. Free to run around all day. Free to do it all my way. Okay, we're going to go to the next thing. So, Lizzo was on South Park. They used Lizzo on South Park. Now, Lizzo, I love you. You're from A-Leaf. You went to Elsick. Wasn't my school. Hastings was my school. But, um, <clears throat> you can't be sensitive when you, out there talking about you don't give a F. Or you're showing your cheeks. You can't be sensitive, sis. I love you, and I'll, I'm a big girl myself. Do what you do. 
But what I'm saying is, the way you received it, that's why I know you're sensitive. And that's why I know you care about what people think. And I know you care about how people feel about you. Because you get rubbed the wrong way every time somebody says something about you. Stop putting yourself out there if you don't really want to do that. I love you with the love of the Thick Sisters. Thick thighs save lives. You know, I'm thicker than a snicker. But I'm telling you, if you really care about what people think, then maybe you need to glam it up a little bit. Maybe you need to stop exposing everything on social media, putting your body out there. Because what I got from it is they said when you take the Lizzo, and from what I see, they made the Lizzo pill like, um, what's that? Uh, Y'all know that, that diet drug that's out for diabetes right now. Um, but they call theirs the Lizzo pill, and it's make you not give a F. And the lady still lost weight. She didn't care. It's like, when you take the Lizzo, you just don't care what people say. You don't care how people feel about you. And that's what I heard. What you heard and what I heard was two totally different things. But you heard something different, Lizzo, because you care about what people think about you. And if you really care what people think, then you make the change. And you sign up for this. When you're in front of millions, and I, I get it. I get it, sis. I get it, friend. I get it. Growing up, I sang in a group called SGT. Pop. There we go. And me and my sister sang the lead vocals, and I did the rap part, and I could just only imagine if we would have went to another level in the industry because you want to be rich and famous, but you don't really know what comes with that until you're there. People calling your name all the time. People don't look at, look at you as a person. You're more of a commodity and everybody thinks that they can be in your business. Well, you, sign, you kind of sign up for that. Is it fair? No. I grew up in a time where you didn't really get to know the celebrities. The celebrities were a secret. It was like a secret society. You only got to see what they wanted you to see. Now, because of social media, we see everything. And people get online and say how they feel. Hashtag Lizzo. So if you are tired of people making fun of you, if you are, because you are amazing. Lizzo, you are talented. You are amazing. Then change it up. You have the power. You have the power for people to treat you like you want to be treated. You have the power. The ball is in your court. Baby, we're playing chess, not checkers. Start playing chess with them. And show them better than you can tell them. Because truth of the matter is... You're never going to be good enough for everybody. Long as you're good enough for God and yourself, that's all you need. That's it. That's all you need. So, I love you guys. Um, Get you some of this quartz swing. And I guess I need to get around to making a cocktail. Because there's some things that are out that I want to try. Oh, you know what? I know I'll be coming down on hard on Shannon Sharp, but he said something today that was so profound, and I'm going to leave y'all with this. He said, um, how did he say it? I'm going to paraphrase it. He said, people who don't go to therapy bleed all over those who have not hurt them. <whistles> That's big. That's big. You know, Shannon, you do be saying some stuff sometimes. You contradict yourself sometimes, but you do be saying some stuff. You know, I like Ocho Cinco too. I like Ocho Cinco. Like I like um, what's his name? Uh, Patty Pendergrass. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I just talked about him early, but anyway, cause Ocho just say what he want to say. He he don't mind being cheap. I love it. That's why you know a girl really love him if she love him for him. Cause and he'll spend his money on him. He'll spend his money on his female, but shit. Um, I think, I think you should. 
not spend a whole lot of money on the first date. I do. I think ain't nothing wrong. I don't want to go to McDonald's because I don't eat McDonald's myself. But shoot, ain't nothing like a good old Starbucks. Let me tell you something. Starbucks can get pretty pricey. I took me and my mom there the other day. I got me a mocha frappuccino, venti, and I got my mom a strawberry frappuccino, and she got some kind of bacon and egg bruschetta, and I got a pumpkin loaf. That was $25. Now, that might not seem like a lot to some, but it's a lot to me. But what I'm saying is, I think we should learn to value one another and not the things that they can buy us. If you value, if we value each other, the things will come. So that's about it. I'm going to put this thing together. Remember to laugh. Remember to love Sterling. Sterling K. Brown. Huh, I love him today. I already loved him from This Is Us. But remember to laugh. Remember to love. Remember to be the light and always bear good fruit. This is hashtag I'm just saying. Y'all have a blessed evening. Bye.